So ladies and gentlemen, we're back again, and I'll brush this one up a little bit more this time, make it a little bit cleaner now that we've got some more information. The first video that I made on the topic was coming from a place of really just disappointment, anger, frustration. Uh, but here we are a day later, and we have new information. Um, I don't know what the information means to you. I sort of know where I stand when it comes to this information, but by now, anyone who has kept up with this story has already read the lengthy post from Dr. Disrespect himself here on his Twitter. I'm not going to read this entire thing. Um, just it's, it's too long. You've already read it, but the long and short of it is roughly a quarter of the way down, a third of the way down, Doc does admit were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? Yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? Absolutely not. We don't really need to read any more than that. I said that if evidence came to light that proved that he was guilty of doing something that I would make another video apologizing. So I want to be clear again about what I said in the first video, completely and 100% stand by my take on the social media and internet based culture we live in where people run their mouth online, making accusations with no proof. That being said, I do not agree with the way that this ex Twitch employee just casually posted about this. I'm not going to apologize to them directly because they've they've exhibited that they're a piece of shit person using this to promote their trash ass band and ticket sales of their trash ass band. Uh, I don't know why else they did it other than to gain eyes and and and, and try to self promote. So I'm not going to apologize to that person directly. I think they knew what they were doing as far as the way they were doing it being nefarious. Uh, it not having any sort of ethical or moral intention behind it at all. It was simply a way for them to capitalize on a big name and a big controversy. And that's exactly what this person attempted to do. However, I will apologize in the sense of it's clear that some weird shit happened. Um, now the gray area here is, is no one still, no one knows what happened. No one knows what was said. No one knows for how long it went on. Apparently it went on for a while, I guess. Uh, no one knows to, to what extent this occurred. Now, the way that I read this tweet is in my mind, he knew that who he was talking to was underage. He knew that. That's just the way that I'm reading it. Were the Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor? Yes. The answer is yes. Nowhere in this excerpt, nowhere in this tweet, does he say anything about not knowing they were a minor, which I would have obviously said several times. But he doesn't. He doesn't say that. So to me, it does make sense that he knew they were a minor. He knew he was texting someone underage. This happened back in 2017. This was the result uh, of the reason behind the Twitch ban. That's what this has all been about. This is his statement. He summarizes it up at the bottom saying that he's not fucking going anywhere and he will be back. I doubt he'll be back anytime soon. And if he does come back, uh, it's going to be a lot different, man. I've been a Dr. Disrespect fan for a long time, but even as somebody, man, who's, who's followed him and enjoyed his content, the shit's just weird, man. So my apology, um, I guess this isn't really an apology video, but if I were to make an apology, then the apology would be from the stance that, you know, he admitted that he did some shit, you know, he admitted that he did some shit. So it can't really be defended just because you like him or just because you think he's funny or whatever. You know, he admitted that he he's done some shit. The only gray area and the only reason that I'm not 
sitting here saying right now that I fully condemn the man, that I never, I'm never going to watch him again, whatever, is simply because I think that we deserve, that the people deserve to know exactly what was said. Now, I don't think that'll happen. I doubt they'll ever release that. Um, the only situation that I see that type of information being released is if he were to sue someone and force them through legal proceedings to release that information, proving his innocence, quote unquote, innocence or his guilt. And unfortunately, I think the guilt is there. Um, I think that all anyone is really wanting to know now, though, is to what extent are we talking about? Did he know they were a minor? I think he probably did. He's not saying he didn't. He doesn't mention that one time. He doesn't mention once that he didn't know they were a minor. He says that the conversations led in an inappropriate direction, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures. No crimes were committed. I never met them. So, again... We're talking about like flirtatious conversation at least. And if you know, if you knew it was a minor, that's just fucking weird, man. You know, like, why were you doing that shit, bro? Like, it's just weird. You know, and even if the conversations are released and the conversations reveal that nothing sexually explicit happened so that this was blown up, you know, to a huge degree. It's still weird, man. It's still just weird, you know? And it's tough to come back from some shit like that, man. And if the conversations are released and they reveal that the conversations that took place were obviously intentional, there was a knowing of what was happening, what you wanted to happen, and maybe you just got caught before it was able to occur, then, I mean, I can't say anything, but, you know, you're done, dude. And I'm sorry for, you know, being the person who stepped up in the beginning, who was quick to come to to the defense of Doc and, and, you know, be proved wrong. And if that's what happened, then I was proved wrong. And like I said in the first video, I have no problem admitting that. But I do stand by the fact that the social media based age we live in where people are allowed to get away with saying something and not proving it, which is exactly what this situation started as, and then to turn around and be a piece of shit person and use that controversy to promote your fucking side career is ridiculous, man. And I know I'm making a YouTube ev a video about the controversy. I'm sitting here making a YouTube video commenting on it. But we're talking about something big, man, like big. And anyone who's involved in the content creation space is going to be reporting this. I'm not over here trying to sell tickets to my fucking lemonade stand or my magazine subscription, you know. But we're talking about the one of the biggest content creators in the world. One of the biggest content creators in the world. One of the most well-known figures in the world in this industry so of course we're going to be commenting on it however that doesn't excuse what's been done man and I'm, I'm really torn man I don't really know how to feel about it because it's fucked up it's weird and it's fucked up because it's here in plain plain text man he admitted to talking to a minor on the platform he does not admit to anything other than casual conversation However, it did lean in the direction of being inappropriate. We have no idea what that means. What does that mean? Does that mean that she started to say something and he pulled back from it? Does it mean he started to say something and she pulled back from it? Were they both saying things they shouldn't have been saying and they both pulled back from it? We just don't know, man. It's really as simple as releasing the transcripts. It doesn't get any simpler than that. You could be on Twitter all day long, looking at Reddit posts, people who claim to have worked at Twitch, releasing information, 
All that needs to happen to put this to bed is for the transcripts of the conversation to be released. They absolutely do exist. They absolutely do have them. There's no way they don't. Obviously, this is something that was gone over in detail during the first legal proceeding. No crimes were found to have been committed. I don't know. I still think Twitch is just as corrupt in this situation as Doc is for all of the for everything that's gone down. I still think it's just as fucked up the way that Twitch handled it as Doc handled it. But I don't really know what to say about it other than that, that if it turns out that this was like some genuinely on some sexual shit that, you know, I'm sorry for coming to his defense and I don't really know what else to say but that, that it's fucking weird. It's weird that this happened regardless of how intimate it got. It's weird that it happened at all. And it's not okay that it happened at all. And I don't know if he's going to be able to come back from it, man. I don't know how he will approach coming back from it. Um, I'm sure he's going to spend a lot of time thinking legally about what is occurring before he ever considers coming back from it. That's just my opinion. That's just my take on this whole thing. Uh, I don't see him making a, a, a swift triumphant return anytime soon. Uh, I just don't. Um, I think the guy who leaked all this originally and the way that he did it and then what he used the publicity to do um, just makes him a complete piece of shit. Uh, I don't think he deserves any sympathy uh, at all, and I'm not going to give him any personally. Um, but that doesn't excuse what happened, and I'm not defending what happened. So I think we need the transcripts. I think we need to know exactly what was said. I think that can put the issue to bed once and for all, because right now there's still just too many unanswered questions. Uh, it doesn't excuse what was done, but I think that people have a right to know what happened. You know, I think that Doc losing all of his partnerships has the right or there should be answers given that justify those actions. So Nick Merckx commented on it. Tim the Tapman commented on it. I just thought I would watch these with you guys because I haven't seen their responses. Um, so this is new to me. We'll see what they say. Everything on Twitter and uh, I read through Doc's tweet and in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's, that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable, right? Uh, there's no excuse for something like that. And, and I can't support it. Hang on, honey. Doing this, talking to Twitter. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And uh, look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with the guy and, and it feels a little weird, but what can you do, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how I'm feeling. And uh, I mean, look, I, I, hope, I hope you guys have a good day, all right? Yeah, so I guess it's obvious that he probably lost that relationship, I'm sure, and that they are no longer associate. And this is what I mean. This is exactly what I mean. He's going to lose everything. I mean, he's going to lose everything. Again, it's 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 going to be just like it was when he was banned on Twitch and lost everything. Lost all those relationships, lost all his business. It's going to be the same thing all over again. And that's why I say that not only for the sake of justifying himself, but his community and all of the business decisions that will have taken place because of this, the transcripts of what, what was said should be released redact the identities of anyone involved in the conversation obviously we know doc is going to be in the conversation but whoever this other person was redact their identity and just release what was said wow this is absolutely insane bro everything i'm seeing I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years and um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing 
for me personally, and I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate, if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent, I cannot support that. I can't. I appreciate y'all. Another thing too to realize here is just like what I said in the first video, is that it's going to be very difficult for anyone who's at the level that Tim the Tapman is at with all of the business that Tim the Tapman conducts to defend him openly and publicly. It would be a huge risk, a huge business risk for people like Tim the Tapman and Nick Merckx to openly and publicly defend him. Now that doesn't mean that what they're saying is disingenuous. I'm sure it is genuine um, because I agree with it. If he knowingly did it, if he knew, if he, if he knew from the beginning that this person was a minor and he was deliberately and intentionally directing the conversation towards a sexual nature, then yeah, man, I mean, you fucked up, dude. You fucked up. And now it's just fucking weird, man. But at the same time, you have to keep in mind that these guys make millions of dollars a year from their business deals. So I do believe they're being genuine, but I also know that they would have to be very calculated in the way they defended him if they chose to do that because they could lose business. They could lose sponsorships themselves just for being on his side. And again, again, I'm repeating myself, but again, this is why we need to see the chat. It doesn't excuse that it happened in the first place. It's not like a cop out, but we need to see what was said because of how much this has blown up and how many accusations are floating around. It's only right to redact the names of people who were involved and release the transcripts and then shut the book, just shut the book on it. Um, I don't know if anyone else big has responded. I know this, um, made a comment about it, how, you know, he's not going to feel bad for defending the guy, uh, looking solid, this fucking shredded up, dude. Um, but yeah, he'll never be, you know, ashamed of, of offending somebody, but he has questions about the whole scenario, which we'll learn in time. And I'm sure we will learn some in time. I don't know if we'll, uh, re learn all of it. You know what I mean? Um, it's just this gray area of how it was decided that it wasn't criminal. You know, what are we talking about here, man? What are we talking about here? You know, because regardless of whether or not it was decided that it was criminal or not, it's still just fucking weird, man. It's still weird and it still happened. And, you know, that just kind of that's just kind of where we are. So anyway, like I said in my first video, as soon as I found out more information, I would make another one. If I needed to apologize, I would. And I am going to make an apology for taking the side of defense, even though I don't apologize for being a person who is always going to be willing to take the side of defense before evidence has been presented, especially in the day and age that we live in of everyone just being able to say whatever it is they want to say uh, and, and literally have it spiral into into the type of situation we're seeing unfold before us now uh, but have absolutely no proof and then on top of that use that publicity and controversy as a piece of shit person to promote your garbage ass fucking band you know what i mean 
and I'm just referencing one person here, but realistically, that's where all this really took off. So we know what the fuck is the deal. We know what's going on, but I can't say anything more than that. I mean, I don't support it either, man. It's weird as fuck. There's no excuse for it. I think we just need answers. I think we need a definitive answer. I think we need to know exactly what happened, why the decisions were made that were made. That way, all of this loss, all of these people who are having to change their side now to basically cut ties with him, all of the businesses that are having to cut ties with him, I think we need to really understand exactly why and exactly what happened and that's it hopefully we get those answers i feel bad man i'm still just as disappointed and frustrated because this is somebody who i wanted to be able to defend man who i still want to be able to defend but i can't in good conscience do that without knowing exactly what the fuck happened and even still man the fact that it happened at all in any context is just weird you know like it just fucking sucks bro because it's weird i think we need to know the intent and i think we need to know exactly what happened to what degree the parties involved knew of what they were doing and i think all of that needs to be delivered to the public i just think it does this is it's too big of an issue it's too big of a crime you know anytime somebody is involved in a sexual crime especially with a child or someone who's underage that's just not shit you fuck around with man like you have to fucking come to the table with receipts bro like you have to, you, there's no way around it. So I don't know. Um, I'm torn and I guess there's not much else to say right now other than doc has made his statement. He's admitted to the wrongdoing. He's admitted to the nature of the wrongdoing. And I think that we deserve to know exactly what happened and I don't know if Doc will come back, man. I don't know if he can. You know, they'll still be the side of the community that accepts that he made a mistake. And maybe if we get the transcripts of what was said, it'll be more clear as to the context context of how that mistake occurred. And then you're going to have, you know, just a whole bunch of people who think he's a sexual fucking predator. Um, but yeah, man, um, I don't know. He did what he did and it's fucking weird. So I'm not sure how much defense there is to be had. I really don't know. I think we need some concrete answers for the sake of closure more than anything else. Whether Doc comes back or not, I think we need concrete answers for the sake of knowing what happened. And to the extent of what happened with the parties involved. Uh, you know, I think that's really going to dictate and determine anything as far as him and how he's approached uh, going forward anyway though guys and gals i had to make a follow-up video about it i said i would um anyone who's creating content at this point is, is is creating videos on this it's too big of an issue not to if it had just been like oh he embezzled some money well who fucking cares dude you know like oh he embezzled some money or he you know he he slapped and somebody at twitchcon you know who was a twitch employee like whatever dude it would be so much different if it wasn't the nature of what he's being accused of it would be so much different but here we are so hopefully we get some concrete answers and um when we do we'll make another follow-up about that and where we stand on that uh, and I think it will be abundantly clear what's going to happen as time progresses. I don't think it'll take take too long to know whether or not anything is going to remain of, of Doc's career or not. Uh, but for now, we'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.